everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Surgery Squad. So, um, in the last episode, we were looking at natural childbirth, and in this one, we are doing laser tattoo removal. And so, you guys will be, if you guys have tattoos and you want to uh, remove them, you guys will get a better idea from this video on how it's done. And you can see we have a pretty interesting <laughs> tattoo roll them bones dealing with dice okay so as before surgery can may contain graphic procedures that may be inappropriate for children or squeamish adults and it is not a suitable uh it is not um a suitable substitute for professional medical advice okay Welcome to Surgery Squad's Laser Tattoo Removal. I'm Dr. Susie and I'll be assisting you with this procedure today. According to a recent poll, over 50% of those with tattoos want at least one removed. They cited being too young when they got it, a new career or significant life changes, such as divorce or childbirth, as reasons why they no longer want them. Luckily, there's laser tattoo removal. Laser tattoo removal is a procedure that uses a powerful laser that reacts with the ink of a tattoo to break it down into tiny particles. The laser directly targets the tattoo pigment and leaves the surrounding skin virtually untouched. After the ink is broken down, it is removed by the body's immune system, creating a natural looking fade that typically only time or sun exposure would produce. Although laser tattoo removal is considered highly effective after multiple treatments, those interested need to keep in mind that yellow, green, and fluorescent tattoo inks are much more difficult to fade. Our patient today is a male in his mid-twenties that got a tattoo on his calf when he was a teenager. Now that he's older, he doesn't see the tattoo as being so attractive anymore. In fact, he's come to us to get it removed. So let's scrub in and see what we can do for him. Before we begin, we need to go back in time to the day he picked out his tattoo. Help him pick out a real winner. Use <laughs> the arrows to scroll through the tattoos. Click choose when you have made up your mind. Okay. Oh, man. Spring break. That's not bad. Oh. <laughs> Type text here. I'm going to go with the cat. <laughs> I sure hope you didn't pay for that. Um, what is that? <laughs> Let's make that tattoo disappear. During our patient's initial consultation, it was recommended that he take a non-aspirin pain medication prior to the procedure to reduce any discomfort he may experience. Other than that, there really isn't any other preparation needed. So let's get started. A lot of patients describe the pain from the laser as feeling like a hundred rubber bands striking the skin at the same time. So to begin the procedure, we'll need to place a cold compress on the tattoo for a few seconds. This will help reduce the pain caused by the laser. Go ahead and place the cold compress on the tattoo. Okay. That will do. Now we need to use the laser to fade the tattoo. Different types of lasers react with certain colors of tattoo ink. One laser might work perfectly for reds and oranges, but not so great on greens or black. So we'll use a variety of lasers to get the desired result. To help relieve some of the pain associated with the procedure, We'll also use a machine that blows icy cold air on the area being treated. Let's start by targeting any red or orange ink areas. That's a good idea to keep it cool. Red or orange. Next up is green, blue, or other darker colors. Okay. Mm 
Finally, we'll remove the black. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now that we've completed the first treatment, we'll need to place the cold compress on the treatment area to relieve some of the pain. That would definitely help. You did great! Our patient is ready to go! Immediately after each treatment, the tattoo may feel sunburned, and it is extremely important to keep it covered until it heals. If our patient fails to do this, both his recovery and the results of the treatments may be negatively affected. Roll the bandage over the treated area. There we go. As stated earlier, our patient's tattoo will only begin to fade after multiple treatments, so he shouldn't expect the tattoo to go away during one session. While the tattoo may not be completely removed, it should be lighter and much less visible than before. And that's laser tattoo removal. Well done! Why not try your surgical skills in another surgery here on SurgerySquad.com? Okay, so we have a liposuction surgery and a teeth cleaning procedure. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!